Snow has fallen early in the west, so skiers and boarders are hoping for a long and white ski season. Now, of course, a winter hot spot is Utah. Easy airport access in and out, high annual snow count. So joining us now is Jody Salen with Ski Utah. Thank you so much, Jody, for being here. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about your skier, right? I, well, I wouldn't call me a good skier. I, yeah, you have to be yeah, good. You I know. A stinky yeah. skier is yes, a skier. Yes, right? I'm a skier. So right. talk about yeah. in Utah how that snow is so different than other places. Well, I think, you know what, there's a couple of things, and a lot of people don't know this about Utah. First of all, we get a lot of snow mm -hmm. in Utah. I'm talking about, you know, on average we see about 540 inches at Alta a year, which is huge. A, a, a huge. It's great. And if you're a great powder skier, obviously that's what you want to see is the amount. But also, it's a fairly dry snow, so it kind of falls in between where the Sierra gets the real heavy type of snow and Colorado gets the real dry snow. So we kind of fall in between where we get that 8.5% dens uh, percent density type snow. So it's kind of right in between, and that's where we sort of coined the term the greatest snow on earth, because we do fall in between, so we get the dry snow and we get tons of snow every year and I mean even storms coming in from the north from the south El Nino years we do well so it really doesn't matter El Nino La Nina whatever well we're in an El Nino so it yes, should like, be good here in Atlanta obviously already and, starting yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. and so it's like this very dry powdery right. snow called yes. pixie dust sometimes so yeah. the amount of moisture in it is a lot less than in other places where it's a lot heavier and wetter so not the best like snow packing but great right. for skiing and other stuff right because if you're a huge powder skier you don't want the real heavy dense right snow. I mean, you don't want to get in there and it's like, you know, heavy and hard to ski and hard to navigate through. So yeah, about eight and a half percent is normally the density of snow. And for people that are huge skiers, that's obviously one of the things they look at. So it's awesome. Yeah. And also the Great Salt Lake plays yeah. a big role. Talk about how that happens. Well, that that's also an awesome thing for us is that when we get these storms that come through, obviously you get a front coming through, but we talk about lake effect all the time. And normally you associate with western parts of New York State, mm -hmm. that's where we talk about the Great Lakes getting lake effect, but the Great Salt Lake obviously doesn't freeze because it's the salinity. Uh, exactly, the salinity. And then you get these fronts that come through, and even after we get a lot of re a storm comes through, we get a lot of cold air, then the lake turns on. And so it can be, you can see some sunshine coming into the western part of the Salt Lake Valley. The lake will turn on in places like Alta, like Snowbird. They will continue to get the heavy snow. After the storm has already moved out, the lake turns on. We can get another foot, another 18 inches of snow, and you're thinking, oh, it's done in the valley, but it's still dumping in the mountains. So the lake actually has a huge impact on the resorts, and that's certainly why uh, part of the reason why we get a lot of these big totals coming in each season. I mean, last season we had almost 700 inches. Oh, we'll so be awesome. tracking you, Jody, out there enjoying it. Yes. Thank you yep. so much, Jody Sarah. Thank you for joining us with Ski Utah. We appreciate it. You'll have to send us some great videos so we can see what we're missing. I'll be on it. All right. Thank you mm -hmm. for being here. Yep. We appreciate it.